outside, mommy, we outside, mommy. Mommy, we outside. <laughs>
Give me your book. Okay. 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 May the souls of the faithful departed rest in perfect peace. Amen. 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 On behalf of these two wonderful people, I welcome you all to this beautiful ceremony. Now before we start, shall we pray? Our Father, we come before you on this holy occasion with our hearts filled with the spirit of love and thanksgiving. We praise and worship you as the giver of life and creator of all good things. As we enter into this service, we most particularly give you thanks for the holy union of marriage the most sacred of all human relationships. We pray for your presence here today and your blessings upon Babatunde and Jennifer as they enter their new life together. Above all else, we thank you for Jesus who gives meaning, direction, and hope to all human relationships. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God is the author of love. The Bible teaches that God is love. And that love comes from God. From the beginning to the end. The Bible is a love story. There we read of God's love for his people, of the love that sends Christ to the cross, of redeeming love for the sin, of the abiding love for the redeemed. We read also of the love of man and woman, of Jacob's love for Rebecca, of Jacob's love for Rachel, of Mary pledged to Joseph, of the Shulamite and her beloved, are in the beginning when the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and placed him in the garden of Eden. Adam was lonely, just like Baba has been lonely. <laughs> so the Lord God made a companion and a helper for him. When Adam saw Eve, he was no longer lonely. Very soon he will not be lonely. God is on his side. God can lead us to our life companions. Abraham prayed that God would find a wife for his son. I, and God answered that prayer. When Abraham's servant found Rebekah, the servant bowed and 
worship pleasing God. Then he brought her to his master's son. The scripture says Isaac loved her and was comforted. God has guided Jennifer and Papa Tunde to this moment, has blessed your love and brought them together to enter into this holy union of marriage. Baba, will you have this beautiful woman, Jennifer, to be your wife, to live together in holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. If so, answer, I will. Absolutely, I will. <laughs> Jennifer, will you have this man to be your husband? To live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others? Be faithful to him so long as you both shall live. If so, Answer, I will. Yeah. Take down some arguments, you know. <laughs> May I ask who is given this right to be married to Baba Tuni? Okay, so I want to see both of you up. So that is Jennifer's mom and Jennifer's father. Be a present. God richly bless you for allowing yourself to be used to produce a bride for Baba Tuni. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Baba and Jennifer, the ceremony of marriage is in which you come to be united is the first and the oldest ceremony. And this was celebrated from the beginning of life. And it was in the presence of God. Marriage is a gift of God, given to comfort the sorrows of life and to magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives as one. Your marriage must stand not by the authority of the state of New York or Jersey, nor by the seal on your wedding certificate, but rather it must stand by the strength of your love. It must stand by your devotion to one another in good and bad times. Finally, it must stand because God's participation it is in your relationship. Marriage can be the greatest human relationship you will ever experience. However, in order for marriage to reach its full potential, you must allow God to play a primary role in your relationship. He knows your thoughts and your needs. He understands your heart and your love for one another. In fact, it was God who created the love and the excitement that you are experiencing at this very moment. We can easily say God knows you better than you know yourself. If you include him, you will help keep that delightful awareness of each other. It is often said that the ideal marriage is like an eternal triangle. With each of you at the bottom of the triangle and God at the top. In that triangle, the closer you get to God, the closer you become to one another. Certainly, you want your new life to be perfect. You have visions of eternity of joy. But let me caution you, it won't be that way all the time. Today you are all smiling. But very soon, you don't hope that happens. But you will not be always smiling. That is how God created man. 
But that is the beauty of man. And you should know that. Unfortunately, sadness and heartache find their way into every life, including yours. However, if that eternal triangle remains unbroken, no problem is too great. You will find your way to eternal. Keep communication open between you and life will be sweet. Baba and Jennifer. Baba love Jennifer as your wife. With all your being, as Christ loved the church. And your wants and needs will always be met. Don't forget that. Treat her like a queen and she'll make you feel like a king. Jennifer, likewise, if you will respect, love, and honor Baba as your husband, he will love you and care for you all the days of your life. Finally, let me say to all of you, remember the eternal triangle. God is way on top there. You are at the bottom. Never break the triangle. The moment you break the triangle and it begins to become like semicircle or a square, then there's going to be a problem. When it is a square, meaning there are now four people in the relationship, it is supposed to be a triangle all the days of your life. Keep your spiritual eyes and ears open to that. The source of love and fulfillment will be yours. I promise you, he will lead you into capacities you never dreamed you would possess. At this moment, by my line of work, I was supposed to guide these two to, you know, say their vows to each other. But Baba says that he got his own vows, so I should let him say his own vows. So, at this moment, I'm going to allow Baba to make a desire to say whatever he has in his heart to Jennifer. <laughs> to live in love is to live in God. Remember you said to me, you kept asking, what does this guy want from me? Well, the answer is to be your forever mate, your soulmate, to be with me forever through right and wrong, through thick and thin, through money and poverty. The better question is, will you be with me for the rest of your life? Getting to this point was a treatment to my love, a testament to my love and faith. This was an easy beat in comparison. Now the real work begins, our marriage. I will strive every day to meet and exceed this bar to go higher and higher. As a final test, some legalese, repeat after me. Act of God. Amen. 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 I think they've confused us, but we will agree. And that is Baba's own words to Jennifer. And this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh. So you got your own words too. Exactly. All right. So let's hear what she has to say. Before you, I never truly believed in the one true love. Well, from you driving to Vermont, to our first day by the boardwalk, to the many memories you shared, I now know what I will transcend, and this much deeper soul connection. If you want to find a partner in life, a lover, a friend, a safe place, someone I can be my own goodness, and more vulnerable with. In you, I found who support me, who inspires me, who respects and honors me. Thank you for never making me feel like I'm too much. <laughs> and for looking at me, and for looking at me with love and eyes, even when we all know I'm being extra. Thank you for embracing all the parts that make me be. When you need a friend, I'll be your best friend. When you need help, I'll be there for you. When you need care, I'll support you. When you want to try something new, 
I'll encourage you. I promise to love you and always be by your side through all the ups and downs, even when you pronounce medications wrong and I have to keep correcting you. I vow to always be faithful and always be your best friend no matter what the future might bring. I promise to always be good for you, here for you, and be your biggest fan. I love you, Lord Timothy, Abby Boali, and I'm so excited to be your wife. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. Now let's go ahead and be the greatest couple God has ordained us to be. Amen. Law or medicine? Medicine. Law or medicine? Medicine. Law or medicine? Medicine. All right, I think we all know. The women always win. That is your first lesson. They always win. If you don't let them win, you are going to be in trouble. All right. The Word of God tells us what love is like and what love does. If I speak in the tongues of men and angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gun or a clanging symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and I can perform all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that I can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to be plain, but have not loved, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And now these three remain, faith, hope, love. But the greatest of these is love. First Corinthians 13 verse 1 through 7 and verse number 13. Now, these two would want to exchange breaks to seal this marriage. And let me take a moment to say something a little about rings in marriages. Having this kind of love in your heart, you have chosen to exchange rings as a sign and seal of the vows you are making today. Can you hold each other's hands? Though the ring looks very small, these rings, oh, is it which one? When you look at a ring, mm -hmm. as compared to all the big things in the world, the ring looks small. It is a very big ring. So, those rings may look small in size. These rings are very large in significance, made of precious metal. They remind us that love is not cheap, nor common. Indeed, love may cost us dear. It's made in a circle. Their design tells us that love must never come to an end. We must keep it continuous. As you wear these rings, 
whether together or apart for a moment, may they be consent, remind us of these glad promises that you are making today. As a symbol of my vow, as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen. In some occasions, right before their vows, um, the, the groom will be asked to take the veil off. But Baba is so sure that that is Jennifer. <laughs> so we didn't have to go through all that trouble. But at this moment, at this moment, at this moment, we know you know it's Jennifer. Some of us believe it's Jennifer. But probably some people don't know Jennifer. You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> this man. So I would ask you to take off the veil. We know you know, but some of us don't know. So take us, take, take off the veil, and then tell us whether or not that is Jennifer. All right. Take your time. Take your time. Amen. Don't do nothing. Don't ask me. Okay. All right. All right. So people here. Beloved, here present. Shall we all be on our feet? We are going to say a prayer for Baba today and Jennifer. Shall we pray? Our Father, we come today as family, friends, those who are physically present, and those whom we love who are now with you. We are asking your blessing upon these two lives and this home being established. You have made us so that we are incomplete without the other, so that we yearn for someone whom we can love and whose love we can receive. We are thankful for the love we see here, and even more, for the love we feel from you. May we never take your love for granted. We pray that your love will be the show and stay for Jennifer and Babatunde. When joy comes, may they share it together. When sorrow threatens, May they bear it together, in gladness or in tears, in sunshine or shadow. May they ever draw closer to each other and nearer to you in the eternal triangle. Grant them patience, gentleness, forbearance, and understanding. Protect their home from those forces that would break it apart. We ask for help for long life, for the fulfillment of every good dream. May their love continue through life and finally
blend into the life eternal. We pray these things in confidence in the strong name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I really don't know what you guys are talking about. But I am in charge of the not in charge of You have come before us and before God and have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands. You have made promises of faith and devotion, each to the other, and have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of the rings. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you. May God give you his peace. What God has joined together. Yes. Let no man, living or dead, yes. put ascend. Yes. <laughs> Baba. <laughs> at this moment, the time has come. The time is here. What you've been looking forward to. Yes. I know you've not been listening to any of the things I've been saying. <laughs> I read mine. You have been waiting for this moment. You may kiss your brother. Yeah. 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 Yeah.